welcome back to the channel. My name is Cara Mary, and we will be comparing Kandan Needle da, 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 versus the Magical Embroidery Pen Tool. Let's battle it up. The way I've done this is that it's two, three rounds. First round is how to thread them. So I'm going to show you how to thread each and one of them. Second round is testing them out, especially this one because it has three needles and then this one testing out almost to get the hand motion third round is just creating a design with it so let's do it so now we're going to thread it and the way that you do it is that you insert the threader into the punch needle and you insert it right inside the point completely through the barrel then you're going to grab your thread and you're going to insert it inside the tip of the threader and back out the needle and then take out the thread out from the threader and you see here enter it inside the eye of the needle from the back of the needle tip and now just place the thread inside and that's pretty much it you pull it and it's that simple guys that's pretty much how you do it like <laughs> I just followed the instructions in the manual and it was this easy okay now the kind of needle <gasps> let me tell you okay so you technically don't thread it, you do a basic stitch. And the way you do the basic stitch is you insert the needle through the fabric uh, and then hook the thread in like a loop. And then you bring it up from, from here and you stick the needle through the hook and then you bring it back up trying to grab up the thread. And this is supposed to be how you lock it in so the thread is nice and fixed there. But I the the wrong strands of thread or then the hook kept getting stuck to the fabric like you can see here how i keep messing up so now i just like pull it out and but that's our result for round one i prefer the punch needle it was so much easier to thread technically you can't thread the kanta needle because you create the base the basic stitch and there it locks it in but it was hard it was harder than the punch needle so this round punch needle all the way so now we're going to test it i'm excited for testing it so now i am just using my dmc embroidery floss and i'm using the needle 103 we're going to work backwards and the way i'm punching is that i'm taking the tip of the needle and scraping it through the fabric i'm not pulling too far apart because i noticed that if i pull it way up the loops would come out and here you go this is something that happened as i was doing the needles because the, the the thread is pulled it kept pulling in the whole bundle of floss so i learned from this that i had to make sure to remember to constantly just pull the strand pull the th the thread from the bundle so it gets stuck on the on the tip of the needle but other than this i just i kept going see how how those loops look they're nice it, it, it does feel a bit loose that was when we saw using the 103 needle let me show you how to change the needles pretty easy you t you take off the top of the needle then you pull it out from here then you remove it and then switch it to the next needle it locks in like there's a tip there it locks in then you s slide it back and cover it and ready to go so here we go 102 this needle i loved using it with the embroidery floss i think this is the, the needle that's supposed to go with this type of thread because the stitches went really nice and tight and they were even i didn't have any trouble the stitches didn't feel loose and i just felt really nice using it so let's move on so 101 see look it keeps coming out this kept happening so i was like oh my god what do i do when i changed when i threaded this it felt very tight so i figured let me try here here's my thought on it it keeps coming out the pn 101 so i was i was so confused as to why it wasn't working so i'm like okay let me just get a a regular thread and see if this works because it's very tight I noticed that too when I entered the needle and then I was threading it, it felt tighter. Okay, now let's move on to the Kantan needle. So, the Kantan needle, it's pretty much the same stitch that I was trying to do at the beginning when I was showing you how to thread. Right now, I'm just trying to get this first stitch in and 
try to get a flow from it what i find the most difficult is trying to find the right grip and trying to not get the hook of the needle stuck to the thread really grabbing the thread so i just stopped <laughs> so i just really stopped i i give it a go i give it a try <laughs> i don't know what happened i know it's like it's so bad and tight it didn't look so good so round two punch needle for sure punch needle jam like i love listening to music as i as i embroider so that's what i was doing and i was ha i was not having any trouble at all did take me an hour i would say this took me not that long but it wasn't quick either Ooh, something that i realized too as i was doing this as i was creating this is that do you see how i was leaving the thread on the top or not pulling the thread from the bottom like before i would leave the thread on the top and then sew it back in you don't have to do that <laughs> you actually can just insert the needle and then pull the the first strand of thread downward so it can stay in the back this is something that i realized along the way and i felt so like whoa amazed <laughs> maybe it wasn't in the instructions that i didn't breathe it but it's now you know <laughs> i was working on this super late at night and i don't know about you but I am so the type to listen to reggaeton, trap, like that just like wakes me up and energizes me throughout the night while I'm working. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, I realized that I never told you what type of fabric I'm using. I'm using linen. Talking about the the design. If you're if you're like me and you're super into into upcycling and sustainable fashion, this these needles are super dope because then you can create your own designs felt really nice again the punch needle is so much easier to to use and it's so much easier to use because this design does have a lot of curves and i felt that moving around with the punch needles in the with these curves wasn't wasn't difficult at all this design you can download for free Imagine. click right below in the link and you can download this illustration and you can create it I gotta tell you this. You have to have fun. If that's one thing that you get out of my my slow fashion, this sl my slow fashion lifestyle is that in the end of the day, it's eco, it's green, it's sustainable, it's all fashion making fun. It's not calm. That's pretty much what I want to tell you. It's not calm. I know like the stereotype is that oh you're embroidering, so it's really quiet and like it's focused. You're jamming, uh-uh. I mean, I'm the type to just jam out. Like, it's a nice session between me, the needle, and music. I recommend you do the same. And if you do, share in the comments what type of music you like you like to listen to as you embroider. Woo, woo, yeah, please do tell me. And I had no trouble. It, oh my God, it was getting, it was like, it's a jungle back there. Just snip the ends. And here we go on to the Kantan needle. So back to the Kantan needle. As I was saying in the beginning, this gave me trouble. Even trying to create this illustration, it, it was trouble, it was troublesome and the curbs it wasn't easy to do. The grip and getting the needle, the movement right. I it yeah, you can you can see here how it was getting tight. It was pulling onto into the fabric it just kept doing that it actually took me it took me longer to do this illustration the same illustration than in the punch needle because i was having trouble with this needle i didn't even want to switch strands but something that i did realize is that the back is it is less messy than the punch needle you do get nice lines and and you can download this illustration for free i drew it and i want you to have it so please take it download it and recreate it it's yours it looks exactly like the chain stitch that you do by hand so here i'm just going over and over trying to figure out this movement trying to figure out the rhythm using this needle like i'm like it can't it can't defeat me i have to do it 
Uh, but here's the truth. This was giving me so much trouble. I seriously, I just got it to a point that I just wanted to finish it. I wasn't, I was, I felt r rushed, like I was rushing myself because I was having so much trouble. Next time I use this needle is just doing basic lines and doing spirals just so I can practice before running into creating an actual design. You see here how it's splitting and maybe it's the way I'm holding the the handle of the needle. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can share with me what I'm doing wrong. I would love to learn from you. If you have experience with the Kantan needle, please share in the comments how I can practice more with this needle because it's awesome. Honestly, I do, do, do like it and I want to learn more. And I just, I need to gain more knowledge and experience with it. So share with me. Okay. Okay. This is the end. No, 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 no. It's giving me way too much trouble. So good thing this is a video. We're going to do the magical editing. So this is the comparison, this is the result of the Kanta needle versus the punch needle by our beginner. Based on what you saw, again, I would have to give it to the punch needle. It was definitely such a great learning experience and I hope that my experience showing you the comparison between the two needles helps you all choosing which one you want to give a try or maybe you just want to get both of them go for it the more the merrier because then you get to style your clothing and revamp it into something new easily even like this like i made myself and i'm now i'm thinking i should embroider something with it because it looked really dope which one do i think is best like i really i like how this came out the back i cleaned it up it is loose i'm worried for the threads to come out but i'm just going to iron some pellet and i think that will seal it seal it in i was watching and reading some some tutorials of other people and that's what they've used so i'm just going to follow their recommendation and do the same and then with the canton needle i just had so much trouble as you can see my tension's bad i kept on like if it wasn't the needle getting stuck to the fabric it was me picking up only three strands of the six strands of the embroidery floss or i was only picking up one and not the other so then i made it too loose then i made it too tense and then it just kept getting harder and harder as for which one do i recommend that's best i in the end of, at the end of the day i think it's just best to choose based on the project that you're doing because the content this needle is super awesome i i'm just bad at <laughs> using it so this tells me that i need to practice much more with this needle because i want to create embroidery and clothing and the finishing that this gives off is way better in clothing with the punch needle i think it's great for creating patches and for creating embroidery hoop art it's super great and if you do want to embroider like something small on your shirt your jeans it is great because then you can have a small section and then apply pellet i'm happy with the results because in the end of the day i got to learn of which one i need more practice on <laughs> and which one gave me the most trouble so to be, i can't wait to continue practicing on and on and if you want to see my process and my progress with using both these needles don't forget to follow me on instagram at caramary so that's pretty much it this has been the comparison between these two needles if you want me to make more videos similar to this one please write it down in the comments and as you scroll down don't forget to click on my blog post because there i have a ton of more information on these needles plus i have a chart and a friend where you can find them you can buy them and pretty much just the whole gist between this one versus that one and oh it's so hot i finished it ciao